So what my goal is in developing these relationships is making our CPA clients, my friends, great at developing relationships. These key little tips I can give them, these, these areas of expertise that I have that I can share. So they have these little shortcuts, these, these little ideas that I give them that they can use in developing their own relationships. And they'll do far more with far less and be a, f a whole lot more productive. So it's interesting. And then you hit them where it, where it hurts. You tell them, this is it. If this is what we're looking for, because I do what I do because this matters to me. Four through six is super important to me because it keeps me having what's most important in my life moving. And I've done everything I've done to make sure I have that. If it's not about, look, if it's not about for you, if it's not about all of this for you, if this doesn't make any sense, if you don't look at this and go, wow, that would be great, if the juice isn't worth the squeeze, then there's no reason for us even to go any further because that's where we're going. All this work, all this becoming a Navy SEAL stuff that I have to deal with without sleep deprivation and being drowned in the pool and freezing in Coronado in the water and all this that I have to go through is only worth it because I want what a Navy SEAL can do. I want to go out, save lives, and I want to be able to come home with mine. And see what they say. And if they say that that's the case, if they say that that's where I want to be, if they say that's exactly what I'm looking for, okay, you're mentally checking off boxes in the process because the picture is becoming clear, because you're eliminating people all along the way. If your engagement process never eliminates anybody, it's not very good. Then you'd be marrying everyone. Okay, you have to have a target. If you don't have a target, you're bound to hit it. Right? So, you get here and you're like, okay, how does that happen? You're back to the risk again, you understand? So that's why we address the risk, Mr. CPA, because if we don't have that risk, then we're good. And that's important. And so we're going to address risk first. And you tell them about that. You say, but this is it. We don't get there by accident. There's a process. And the process is beginning to do a remodel on you. A model that says, I'm going to think different, I'm going to act different, I'm going to be different, and I'm going to be with you because you're different. And you're powerful. And you're unique. And I'm powerful and unique because together we're a pretty strong team. And that's what we're going to do. And there's a process to that. It's a requirement of time. My relationship with you will be time intensive. Your relationship with your clients will be time effective. And that's what the problem is right now. They're not. They're inefficient. Your relationships with your clients are very inefficient. Even your best clients, the time that you're investing with them today, is not producing the desired results. And most of them are paying more taxes. Most of them have their estates less protected than they should be. And most of them are still at risk of leaving you. And you don't have the time, nor will I expect you or require you to, to invest more with them to build a stronger relationship. So instead of doing that, what we need to do is make you stronger at relationships so you can invest less time and be more fruitful. Invest less time and have a more bountiful relationship. Invest less time with a far greater return. That is key. And that's what makes you powerful, unique, and attractive. And that's what I can do. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm finding out here if this makes sense, if this is a good fit, if this is where we should go together. Because otherwise, it's a waste of both of our time. And I know I'm not going to waste my time, and you don't even have any time to waste. So you show them this, and you go through it. And then you go beyond the tree of enlightenment. Because this is important. There's four pieces to where we're at. And there was a slide ahead of this that needed just for, for um, next time. Um, we are here. This is all about minimizing risk. Okay? This is about selecting the right person. This is about hitting your target. 
Okay? So what's your target? You are your target. And now you have to go beyond the tree of enlightenment to find it. So let's figure out first. This is the process to engagement. Got it, everybody? This is important. You need to make the right choice, minimize the risk, hit your target. What's your target look like? Well, first of all, they have to have the right clients. They have to have the right clients. What does that mean by saying they have the right clients? They just have to have affluent clients? Wealthy clients? Successful clients? Is that what they need? Here's what they need. Who, what, and why? Who are their clients? What do their clients do? And why are you working with those clients? These are questions you need to get in the form of conversations you will have. There's four parts to building your perfect client, to hitting your target, to putting together the target and saying, that's my picture, that's my client, that's my hit, that's perfect, and that's what I'm looking for. Who are my clients? Like, who are they? Why are those my clients? And what do those clients do? So who are your clients, Mr. CPA? Who are they? They're athletes. They're actors. They're, they're musicians. They're real estate developers. Who are they? That's the who. What do they do? Well, they're actors. What is it, what, what is it that they do? Oh, they act. Okay, they're athletes. What is it they do? Well, they're, they're football players. They're baseball players. They're, they're hockey players. Okay, they're business owners. Well, what, what kind of business owners? What, well, they're, they're in, every CPA has something that they're gravitating towards. Okay, so who, what, and then ultimately why? Why athletes? Why business owners? Why car salesmen? I mean, car dealerships. Why these people? Why? What does that, why did you choose that? That's the first thing you got to find about their clients. Because what you want is you want a CPA with a purpose that doesn't fall into his lap. And what you're going to find out more often than not, well, I just I got one athlete, then I got another, and now I just have a bunch. That's fine that that happened, but you're staying with them. What's the reason why? Well, once we realized it, we realized that we were actually good at this, and we learned how to do a few things. Well, that's cool. I get that. I like the mentality of why you have those clients. Next, you want clients that want answers. The right clients, they want answers, they want solutions that are not satisfied and are still searching. So you want to ask them, are your clients looking for answers? Are your clients satisfied or do they believe that there could be more and better? Uh, uh, do they believe that they could do better? Are they searching? That's what you want. Do you see what's happening? I'm building a situation where you can't lose. You find the CPAs that have everything we're talking about. It's a home run. You're going to do your work here in the engagement process so the relationship itself develops properly and with less effort from you. Why? Because time is important. Okay? You want the right clients are the ones that do not like paying taxes enough to do something about it, even change CPAs. Okay? So can you meet a client? Let me ask you a question. Can you meet a CPA? You're on a third lunch with them and say, hey, are your clients the kind of clients that don't like paying taxes enough that they'd dump you if you didn't, if you didn't fix their tax problems? Would they, would they bail on you? Can you say it that way? Probably not. Again, you haven't earned the right yet. This isn't perfect world stuff. This is not engagement yet. This is still the dating process. Okay, but you can say, listen, your very best clients, did they come from homegrown or they came from another CPA? who wasn't taking care of them, and they found you because they believed that you could. Well, that's how I got most of them, sure. So the, the important thing for you then going forward is that you actually make sure that they're satisfied or else they're changing CPAs again, right? See how I just asked that question? This is because I am a great communicator. Okay? Next, the client has to want the work. They have to be involved in the pushing. You want a CPA who's got clients that say, hey, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. Listen, you can tell a CPA all day long that you meet that you want them to be pre proactive, not reactive, and think you're going to change them. Guess what? They're reactive. Guess what? Nothing gets done as fast as when their best client says jump. Then the CPA says how high. I don't care how much you want him to jump. I don't care how much you think your CPA is going to do everything you say he's going to do. The moment their best clients are paying them a couple hundred grand a year says, 
Hey, I need to see you. Boom, they're there. So you need to find out, hey, are your clients interested in you bringing them ideas? Are they looking? Are they interested? Do they want work done? Or are they just happy making $10 million a year, paying $3 million in taxes? I mean, are you, do you find yourself at the end of the year, every year, trying to solve problems for them? They're coming at you like, wait, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. I don't want to pay taxes. I want this. Are they pushing you to do the work? That's, you want that. Those are great clients. You want to see people with clients like that. How come? Because you're the answer. Right? See, you probably didn't even know what your perfect client looked like before, but you're getting a small picture of it now. He's got to have the right clients. Oh, I'm ready to go meet CPAs. I'm ready to engage. I'm ready to bring cases home. How do you even know? You didn't know any of this until today. Their tax situation being most efficient is a primary concern. Do you know how many CPA, you know how many end users don't care about paying taxes? They just pay them. Doesn't matter. I'm making 30 million, I'm making 50 million, I'm making 5 million. I don't care. It's more of a headache than anything. If your CPA's got a bunch of clients like that, you might as well pack it up. You aren't doing a thing. You can't make somebody who has an injury get repaired in surgery and get fixed if they don't want to be fixed. My shoulder is still torn rotator cuff. And I'm doing triathlons, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. So guess what? Guess what? I'm not that interested in it, am I? No. This is who your client is. So understand, A, this is the right and user clients. Do you get this? Any questions? This is the meat of what we're doing today. So do you get this? Oh, well, gosh, it's more work than I thought it was going to be. There's more to this than I thought. I thought it was just, you know, love on them a little bit, you know? <laughs> you know, tell them about some time issues and show them the team, and I'm in. Now you're really, why? Because you understand the result? The result is three to five clients. The result is a million to two million dollars per client. The result is you working about 15 hours a week. The result is more time for life. Would you change everything to have everything you've ever wanted? Yeah. You want to fly rockets? Want to fly F-14? Want to be a Navy SEAL? Want to be a Ranger? It's work. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Absolutely. Is the juice worth the squeeze here? Is your life worth it? We are talking about your life. So yeah, it is work. And I think it's worth it.